<laughs> Hello everybody, Reaper Hunter 23 here, welcoming you back to Let's Play Crash Bandicoot 2. In the last recording session I did, I was a stupid and forgot, or didn't forget, but neglected to get the yellow gem. And that prevented me from getting the gem in sewer later, so we're gonna go do that right now. Forgive me if I sound a bit, uh, stuffed up to Aldo. Whatever, my voice is never that appealing to me, okay? so- Oh, you gotta be kidding me. This is a bad omen. Anyway, what I was trying to say a second ago is that I kind of have a bit of a cold. My face is all congested. What? There's no way I walked- This is- This is terrible. Although I've tried recording this bit from here into the next warp room a few times, only to be hit with every technical difficulty under the sun. Every technical difficulty under the sun. So I'm at like the point of no return. I am doing this regardless of how well I play. Actually, the yellow gem path isn't like too far off. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Lately, I've been keeping a oh no, I've been keeping a mental. Or actually, I've just, I actually have this kind of typed out somewhere, but a list of weird things I do when I play video games. One of the things that was on that list is belly flopping platforms and crash unnecessarily, like what I did right there, and the in and out, or the warp room entrances and exits. Thankfully the gem isn't too far into this path either, so. Oh yeah, the main problem with this, or the main obstacle I should say, with this gem path is that well, the electric water doesn't turn off, it's just always there, which causes some difficulty. But yeah, I just kind of unnecessarily belly flop everything. There are other things that I do, but I'm not going to say them right now, because, well, I hope that I'll keep doing this long enough for some of them to get shown. Yeah, I do all sorts of weird stuff in video games. Or at least while I play them. I have a tendency to nickname a whole lot of things, too. Oh. What? If this is in range for the electric water, I'm gonna be... Oh, no! Ah. Still, what? I am not doing that path. Stupid rat tail. And owned by that the first time I did this level. Ugh. I tend to nickname things a lot too. I'm pretty sure I do that no matter what, like if I'm watching something I do that too. I can't think of any specific examples right now, but I'm sure I'll get back to you on it if I come up. Oh, I did not mean to spin that. This is getting stupid. Now that the first five minutes of this video is spent wasting away in a level that we already did, Let's move on to the fourth warp room, shall we? Uh, uh, god. This is so terrible. I should have had this 
I should have had this playthrough like done weeks ago. It was all going well, and then I don't know, everything went to everything got all to replay right here and after I beat Tiny pretty much. Doesn't matter though. This is more for posterity anyway. There's like two people watching this live or watching this as it gets uploaded maybe. Anyway, we're on to the last sewer level. Oh, yeah. Those runaway floor scrubby things are jerks. And they have ruined my day on more than one occasion. Anyway. What was I saying before? Oh yeah, this is the last sewer level. Hanging out. We're gonna see why in like... 15 seconds. Maybe. Yeah, right here. That monkey bar gimmick that was introduced in a... Eel deal. Yeah, it's back in much more volume this time. If you hit circle, you can do this little pull up thing, which we'll see in a second. Give me my mask. It is beyond stupid that I found it necessary to do that. <laughs> no! I thought that thing was gonna catch me. Oh, this one's gonna. Nope. Can't touch this. No, oh, they touched this. That sucks. No, oh. I don't need you anyway, Aku Aku. Bam. Uh, uh. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. The last couple of times I attempted doing this, I uh, normally didn't get that on my first try. Also, this row of nitros tends to own me too. I feel like it's some kind of scare tactic putting that wall of nitros in front of the uh, switch. Thinking that, like, you won't hit it because you're afraid of getting caught in the explosion. Anyway, alright. Now we're gonna turn around and. backtrack. Ugh. Because we have a secret to find. Right here. There we go. Alright, the second of the two original 
levels in the secret warp room and it's treasure trove of secrets here is totally fly which is a blackout basement level I don't like these I don't like that game three levels where the lights where there's a limited amount of light and junk this is far better than the first Crash Bandicoot's blackout basement levels those were some nonsense to be with. but uh, I still don't like the gimmick all that much. This isn't that bad though. It's got the woods themed level. It's like a woods themed level besides the gimmick here. And it's got a jamming version of the turtle woods in the background. I enjoy it. It's also got these UFO turtle things that are pretty sweet. I love this. I love the design of these things. Ugh. I was adjusting how I was laying here for a second, and I wasn't really watching the screen. <laughs> that was stupid. Oh, come on! I've made that jump before, I promise. The Wumpos. Ah! Those little tool biscuits from the, uh, uh, ruin levels like to. Okay. Yeah, those tool biscuits from the ruin levels like to show up here. Right here, we don't want to get the Firefly right away because, well, there's some boxes that we need the belly flop onto. And using the uh, Firefly when we need the belly flop on the things is a good way to get it to run off, and then we'll be fine. Alright, there we go. Bah. Wow, that thing has a short lifespan anyway, jeez. Oh, I have 48 lives. Good, I'm going to need them. This next level sucks. I'm not kidding when I say that these next two levels are among my least favorites in the game. Digging it. If we're talking about my grave, then yeah. God. There are a few reasons this level sucks. First of all, these little piranha plants that spit explosives at you are absolute jerks. And stuff like that happens. And I have to leave the warp room because there's a di or go back to the warp room because there's a death path and I just got killed by nonsense. Ugh. Yeah, there's a death path. That's a problem. There's a box jump. There are boxes in the death path. There's This death path happens at a fork in the road. There's backtracking involved in this no matter how you slice it. This level's a jerk. There are bees. Not the bees. I was yelling this way before Nicolas Cage ever did.
these stupid mines. Yeah. Like I said, those piranha plants are jerks. Um, the theming of this level is pretty cool, though. It's kind of like those levels where the uh, snowball and the bear chased you, except you're not running against the camera, at least until you backtrack. Yeah, it's cool. I enjoy the theming of this level. Ah. God, I hope I hold on to these masks. Oh! He says as he almost loses one. Ah, 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 ah. A plane crash bandicoot, not sin and punishment. Leave me alone. That was exaggeration to the highest degree. From what I've seen from the Sim and Punishment videos, those things are way, way more. Oh wow. Crazy. What? How the heck am I aligned right here? That's one mask down for silliness. I have 50 lives, and I can, and I'm gonna estimate that I'm going to be down to at least 30 something, at least by the time I'm finished with this level and the next one. Maybe just this level. Who knows? Nonsense like that right there. Why am I not a fan? I'm going to ignore that checkpoint box. It's also a jerk move to hide the crystal in the fort. I don't think, I, I don't remember if behaving is as bad, but it's still, like, um, rawr. Alright, so here's when we come to the trying part, is going backwards. I thought I was about to die. You see, behaving throws a lot, what they like, throws an entire like swarm of bees at you. But I don't know. I think they're more forgiving about the placements of them. Of course, I could be wrong. I haven't played that level in forever. I just always remember hating this one way more. All right, I made it to the checkpoint. <laughs> well, I made it to the checkpoint without incident. That's good. Got to be kidding me. Not on my face, B. Oh, yeah, running against boost panels is annoying, too. I don't like that they have you do this. Not on my face, B. Oh no!
<sighs> I absolutely that didn't even occur to me. Okay, well. I'm gonna get those off screen. Both of these gems, unfortunately, because good, good, good. I hate this level. I hate this level. I hate this level's face. I hate this level's family. I hate this level's family's face. Well, hold on. Maybe I can do the thing with it. Well, that was just a silly. Yeah, whatever, I'm getting these gems off screen. I can't get the box gem either because, well, there are boxes in the death path. I'm pretty sure I ran through that path in the beginning. Anyway. There is, however, a secret to be had. So this trick isn't a total failure. He's gonna have a crystal. Ugh. I hate that level. I hate the next level. Well, not Rogue Hero, but the next level. Anger. Rage. Rawr. Alright, these devs try to do you dirty. Be careful. Rat? I don't have time for your nonsense right now, alright? Yep. I die at one crucial point in time. Suddenly, everything falls. The amount of failage that is happening in this recording at the moment is just beyond stupid. Get out of my face, you stupid rat. 